Good evening to everyone who are looking at us and are listening to us. Uh, I'm Vestine. I'm going to teach English P6. In English, we are going to start with noun. Uh, as explanation, what's a noun? A noun is a name of everything. A name of everything, we can find the name of person, name of animals, things, activities, and so on. For example, of a name of person, can found Eric, uh, of animal, can found elephant, uh, example of activity we can found football is an activity uh, example of name of profession can say teacher and so on after knowing the names what a noun, you can saw also the types of noun. We have five types of noun. We have proper noun, the first, the first one. Proper noun. Number two, common noun. Number three, collective noun. Number four, abstract nouns. Number five, compound nouns. After seeing all of those ones, we can explain one by one accordingly. Uh, let us start with the proper noun. What do we mean when we mean proper noun? Proper nouns are particular name of person or a thing. Uh, in the Proper noun, we found the name of person, name of places. For example, of proper noun, when we found the names of people, people we know that is the proper form of a person, can say, Yvette, Catherine, and in the na the proper noun also we can found days of the week. Days of the week also are the proper noun, are particular names of those days. Here in the days of the week, we found, for example, can say Monday as the first day of the week, Saturday.
Sunday, and so on. Other one you can find in proper noun are months of the year. Months of the year are also in the category of proper noun. <coughs> Example of month of the year can say January, February, March, July, and so on. Those are some examples. Other kinds of things we can find there in the proper noun. We can find name of places. When you say Chigari is the name of a place. Rwanda USA United States of America. You can find the name of countries, district, sectors, village, cell, and so forth, and the prices of the areas. Other, kind, other things we can find there is name of subject. Subject, I mean the courses in class. For example, you can find English, uh, French, biology, set, and so on. As, as examples of proper nouns, where we found name of people, place, days of the week, months of the year, and subject. This is the first category of nouns. The second one, as you saw before, is common noun. Common nouns, what does it mean? <coughs> it means the noun which are commonly or which have the same, the similar the similar things that characterize them. Example of them, we found here the names of things and the names of profession. When you say the name of things, we found all things we see even touchable or untouchable can found in common. When you say a telephone is a common because they can have Tecino or Samsung, iPhone and so on are common because there are so many things which are different from the colors but the main one are the same. Here I can say also car phone, chairs, and so on. For the name of a profession, what does it mean, the profession? At the name of works, the people do. For example, when I say, as my profession now, teacher is a name of a profession can found a woman teacher or a teacher who is a man. Can found the teacher, the white one, the black one, 
is common. Can say also nurse. Driver are also their profession of driving. All of those one are common nouns. As an taben, the things that we can remind ourselves all common nouns must have the plural form. Apart from an encounter one. For example, when I have one one car, when there are more than one, I say cars. When I have one teacher, more than one are teachers. This is the characteristic of the common noun. They must have the plural form. After this one, we see category number three, the corrective noun. Collective noun, what does it mean? Collective noun come from the verb to correct. To correct means what? Means to put together. To put in the same area. It means it's one, one word, which means many things or many people. I can say I can say staff. What does it mean, staff? Staff, normally, is one word. But it means many, many people work together. Many people who are working together are called staff. Sometimes you see the cars where on it written staff van. Staff is not a building, but our staff van it are the people who are inside the area. Yeah? They mean that those people work together, are working together. The corrective noun in that, in that time is a staff. A staff. Many people who are working together. For example, the journalists and others who work here on our vision radio are staff, example of staff. The teachers who work in the same school are also staff. That's the meaning of staff. When say also a choir. A choir are male singers who sing together. It is not the same as when you say, for example, the, the singers from this church and others from another one, in that case are not the choir, because the choir are many singers sing together. They have to be in the same area and do the same job of singing. Another one you can see also, A flock. F 
flock are many birds. You have a many birds, we say it is a flock. A flock is a collective noun. When you, someone gets a problem or any, a confu any confusion about this one, can ask by after, because I can't teach all of them in this time. Let us see about abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are or words which talk about the things that we can't see with our eyes or touch with our hand are unseen and untouchable things. The things you can't see or touch example on say air we can feel the air but we can't touch or we can't see it with our eyes but you can feel it wind smoke love happiness can you see someone who is happy that he has happiness. He feel it, but you can't touch it. You can't bring me happiness in your hand. Or I can't, you can't give me the quantity. For example, you can't say it is one liter or one kilogram of happiness. It can't be possible because it is untouchable and unseen with eyes. Kindness. You can't say someone is kind. Depend on his or her behavior or action, but you, but you can't give the evidence which are palpable. You see it in action. Illness is the state of someone who is ill, who is sick. You can feel the sickness, how you feel in your body but you can't take it. How? How it is? Which quantity? You can't measure it. Then, number five. Number five is the compound. What does it mean, compound? Compound noun is one, one word. Is one noun which composed by more than one word. But all words which compose that noun must each one have its own meaning. But when you put it together, they have the same meaning, which is different from each. Compound nouns. One noun.
which is composed or made with more than one one what that compound noun which is made of more than one word, each word have own meaning. When you take it and you add another one, they have the different meaning from the recent. Let me give the examples. For example, when I say, here I have the word not. We know when you write on the chalkboard or the whiteboard like this, you write the things. Those are the things that I've already written are notes. The runners are supposed to take them in their notebook. Those ones are not. And the notes, you can find them from internet or from the books. When you take this one, notes, or things that I have already written on the whiteboard, and you add the word book, you get the compound noun, notebook. Note is a word for itself, and it has its meaning. And the book is another word which have its own meaning. When I take two words and I make together, they form one compound noun, which is notebook. Council classroom, it is made with class and room. Council also, Whiteboard. You have a white as a color and a board. You can say cross teacher. You can say also couch. You can say head teacher. Someone who read the the school. Uh, can say also chair, chairperson. Can say also I'm chair. Officer in charge. Can say also a blackboard. And so forth. Those are examples of compound noun. All of those ones are the types of nouns and they are only meaning and the examples. After seeing the types of nouns, their category, their meaning, you can see how they can change from one to more than one. When I say more than one, I mean two, three, and above. After seeing those nouns, we are going to see how they can be changed from one to more.
is the pura the pura form of Lourdes. When I say pura form, I mean more than one. Because the things you take the pura when it is more than one. Is more than one. Uh, when I have, uh, before we started that common noun are the one which can take the pura form only. Because the pura form, they can't take the pura form. But them, they must be begun with the capital letter when you write them. You start them with the capital letter. I mean the, pura, the proper nouns. But the common nouns, they take the plural form. And I say, a book. This one, it is one. And we mean that plural form means more than one. A pen, as a class object, the one that we see we have the ability to see them. A chair. A window. A desk. A rug. A table, a pencil, a door, and so on. This one are the object we see in the area of studying. We see them everywhere we are in the classroom. In plural form, we have many categories of plural form. But now, we are going to begin with the plural form by adding S at the end of the singular word. Adding S to the noun. We add this S at the end of noun. When you have an article, as you have already, I have written a book, this A is an indefinite article. It indicated the singular form. Before adding S at the end of the word, we have to remove that A because A indicates the singular. When you write it with that A, you will get zero. This one must be dismissed. This one must be removed. You copy the word without article. We have a book. Then after, we add is in order to express the plural form. Because when you have one book, and then I have many books, that is the plural form. When you have one pen, and you have more than one, two, three, four, five, and so on, you say pens. You add S in order to express the plural form. When you have one chair, and then you get more than one, you say chairs. You add S. When you have one window, 
and you, you get more than one. You say windows. You add S in order to express the plural form. When you have a desk, one desk, and you get it two, you say two desks. And you have one lula, and then you get another one, or more than one, you say lulas. When you have a more table like this, for example, here I ha he, there is one table and another one. In that case, you have two tables, even if three, four, five, six, or so on. When you get it to the furniture, you will see more tables. One door, you will get more than one. When you enter more than one room, you get it more doors. We have one pencil for one person who is drawing. You can get more than one. If there are many drawers, and say pencils. Here, as a remark, is the plural form of words where we add S only. This is the first category of plural form. Let us see the second one. We have so many. The second one is the plural form where we add ES at the end of the word of what is End with CH, SH, CH, O, X. When you see the word ended by SH, CH, O, X, immediately, apart from the exception, you have to add ES for their plural form. Example, when I say a calabash, my fellow students, you have to know that in a language, the spelling is important. When you write something as A, it must be A. In order to evade it, to avoid the confusion. A calabash, a church, a mango, a box, A tomato, a potato, here we will take them as we see at the beginning, we remove this A, which indicates the state of singular. 
we say calabash and we add es calabashes one church more churches When you have one mango, more mangoes. When you have one box of chocks, for example, and you get another one, you get boxes. When you have one tomato, and you get more than one, uh, tomatoes. One potato, more potatoes. And so on. But as the law, the general law of adding ES for the words which are ended by CH, SH, X or there are some exception. When I talk about exception, what does the exception mean? It means there are some words which does not follow the general rule we have already said above. Even if is end are ended by with those S H C H O X, but they can't be taken the E S as normal because they are exception. Here I can say an ox, a radio, you see that they end with O and X, but they don't have the same rules, the same property with their similar words. We say here oxen, here is radio, without adding ES, we say radios, we add S only. Please, you have to take this one on your own heart because our exception, the exception words are always in question. Is you have to take it as a serious, even all of those ones are serious, but this one you have underlined all of them are very serious. Then we have another one for the words which ended by Y. But that Y is preceded by a consonant. Words ended by By Y preceded by a consonant. This Y changed into I, then after we add ES. For indicating the plural form. When I mean the consonant, there are some of runners that we can't understand it very easy. A consonant, example of a consonant, we can have B, C, D and so on. Those are consonants. In examples, can say a fry, 
a party, a rory, a family, and others. You can see it by after. Let me show you what I mean in the law in above. This is the word ended by Y. This is Y. Preceded by the consonant. The consonant is this L. That is the consonant. As a law, this Y must be changed into I. Then after, we add ES. Let me write it in order to clarify it. Uh, for more understanding. We say, as normal, we remove this A, which express a singular fly. That why change it into I. After changing it into I, I add, we add ES and we say a fly flies. A party. That why, as you have already said, change it into I. Then after. We add ES and we have parties. A lorry. That you I changed it into I. And then after we add ES, we say lorries. A family. When we have more than one family, that why change it into I. And then after we add the ES and we say families. Those are the examples how we can proceed when the word is ended by Y, that Y preceded by a consonant. You can ask by yourself, when it is not ended by, ended by Y, which is preceded by a consonant, how do we proceed? For example, it can be ended by Y, that Y preceded by Evawa. Let us see how do we proceed when it must be like that, as I already said. Words ended by Y, which preceded by Evawa. My fellow student, Evawa is A, B. It is not B. B is in the consonant. You have A, O, I, E, U. Those are some consonants. Those are, are some vowels which are different from the consonant. Those are vowels. In spite of ab above, there are some consonants. Let us see there are difference between them because the same is all words are ended by Y. But the difference is there. That Y is preceded by which? Is it a consonant or is a vowel? Here we are going to see if it is a vowel. How we will proceed. You will add 
is immediately. Without thinking other things, you have to add is immediately. Example, can say a day, a boy. This Y is preceded by a vowel O. This Y is preceded by a vowel A. Can we say Days, we add the S immediately. Here we say boys. We add the S immediately as we started. This is the plural form of words when are ended by Y. If it preceded by consonant or a vowel. Now let us see other category of plural form. When words are what is ended by F or F E. This F or F E changed into V E S by sparing. Example can say F E. A leaf. A life. A knife. As the the law we saw, does the F or F E must be changed into V E S and we say thieves. Normally this E must this A must be dismissed in order to to indicate the plural form. We say thieves. And here I'll say Reeves. Rife, lives. One knife for cutting something. Two knives. Here, we have some exception. We have some words which, which do not flow the same rule as those one. Example, we have a cliff. Crift must be not crevice, it is a cliffs. When we have also a chief, a leader of a class, a leader of others, when they are more than one, 
We don't say chiefs, but we say chiefs. When someone gets some difficult thing, can you ask by after? I will give you the minute for asking. Then after, you have the plural. Of irregular words. Here we have irregular plurals. What does it mean, irregular? Irregular means the word is which, does, which do not have the same uniform rule. Each word has its own plural form. There are not a uniform rule. Each word has its own, its own plural form, its own plural. Here you have to take it as it is, because you can't change it, because there are no uniform rule. When I say a woman, A man, a child, a foot, a goose. A louse, a mouse, and so on. Here, each word have its own plural form. Here, a woman, as normal, we remove that A. We say women. Here, don't you read the women? Women. We say women. Here, we have a man, men. A child, children. When you have one foot, and then after you have more than. Then one, as human being, you have a two. Say feet. One goose, two geese. One laos, two rice. One mouse, two, two mice. Those ones are irregular plurals.
Does the regular plurals are taken are as they are because they have no uniform rules? This plural form is for the simple words. When you have the compound in the words, plural of compound, plural of compound are in three categories. Are where the changes is in the first word? Where we change first word? You can ask yourself how can you know that the plural form must be in the first word? You know it by Lulus. When the word, we have also we have studied that the compound word is made of more than one. When the word, the compound word is made, and in, inside it are the preposition. Preposition or adverb. In the compound you noun, when there is a preposition or an adverb, you know that you will change the first word only. For example, when I say a mother in law, you see this in is a preposition. It shows that this compound noun is made of how many words? One, two, three. And those words are put together by the preposition. Because there, there is the preposition, it means that the plural form must be in change of first word. Let us see how it can be changed. As normal, in the simple words are the same. Always this A must be removed or dismissed. And we say, mother, because this, this one is the first one, and the changes must be in the first. And we say, mothers in the law. Here you can listen it carefree and take it carefree because compound nouns are made from different rules. When you don't remind yourself the rules, you can't do it well. Let me repeat it. When the compound noun has it the preposition or adverb always we change the first element. That is the strategy. A commander in chief. Commander in chief. We say commanders because commander it is the first word and there is a preposition commanders in your chief. A 
enam chair. Now let us see when there isn't a preposition. Because compound noun can be made with more than word separated with Aithen, Aithen are those ones which are like minus, or it can be written in one word. For example, when I say, I'm chair, I'm chair, it is written in one word. When you say, a notebook, a classroom, I I don't remind myself the one you you use at the main time. A boyfriend and a girlfriend. A boyfriend. A girlfriend. All those words are written in one word. They are made by more than one word as co all compound nouns. And they are written in one word. When the compound noun are written in one word, we add S or other thing, depend on the, the word. Here we have armchair. When there are so many, we say armchairs. When the compound noun is written in one word, you have to see the last one, when is a simple word. How do you proceed in making it in a plural form? It flows the same rules. Here you see, you have an arm and a chair. As the chair, when you put it in the plural form, you say chairs, and it is the last word from here, you say arm chairs. Here we have a notebook, as we say a books, a book and books, we say not books. A classroom, and we say classrooms, when you have more than one. A boyfriend, when there are more than one, we say boyfriends. A girlfriend, say girlfriends. One girlfriend, two girlfriends. One boyfriend, two boyfriends. There are some words of compound noun where all words must change into plural form. Both words take the plural form. Here we saw where we change the changes is in the first element of the word. That change it occurs when compound noun is made of more than one word does no more, and in that word there is a preposition or an adverb. And there are other kinds where we change the last element. When the word is written without separating, it means it is written in one word. Where we saw armchair, notebook, classroom, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, and so on. When you write a compound noun in one word without separating them, you change the last element only. It comports like a single word. Let us see the last one. When the words, both words of compound words, 
both words of compound word take plural form example A woman servant say women servants or bo or what is take the plural form women always we remove this a women servant Women servants are the women who are doing the work of serving some people. Now, thank you for following and listening to me, Kea Fruri. This is the end of our session of English. See you on next Tuesday.